Hello and welcome to my hair shader for Unreal Engine 4. And now you'll see I've made a few changes to the way the hair shader works. Uh, I've taken away the Aniso uh, light that was there, uh, light Aniso it was called. And what it did was it simulated a fake light coming from above. But after a while it started to look a little bit unrealistic and I was trying to get it to change based on the view angle and things like that but it didn't really line up with everything else in the scene so I've left it just to uh, the base uh, reflection to do the job here and you see it will work with a main light and some other things so I've made this here and yeah it's a little bit glowy red so I'm just going to make some small adjustments to it to bring it down to a more realistic level and see I've got control of the two tones here uh, base color one's your more dominant tone in this case, uh, based on how I've done the red strands of the, uh, done the red channel strands of the hair. There's more white than black, so it means that this base color one's getting more effect. Uh, I've added something for the root color as well, so you can change the root color, no problem, uh, to anything you want. And I've also added extra root coverage just to go a little bit further with that. Now you can boost it already in the alpha channel based on the RGB mask, uh, which is here. So the, the green channel that you can see at the top here is basically the root of the hair. Uh, you can see they follow suit with these hair strands and the extra coverage just gives it a little bit more. It's, it just adds a gradient to that, that area. That means you get uh, more of this kind of thing happening. Uh, if you don't want it to be too metallic looking, you can reduce this scatter level and change the scatter modifier. And you see it's all gone a bit dark now. Uh, you just need to change the, you know, the anisotropic band to see how that looks. And it is because of the scene light being a little bit dark as well. Um, so you do need a little bit of scatter, uh, scatter level. And the scatter modifier is just a little bit of the red channel here and a little bit of frizz mixing together after the the boost so you got this frizz booster and frizz power so you can bring some changes to that to make changes to the hair and these also affect the shininess you can choose the amount that they affect shininess by so if you want to boost these up a bit more uh, let's see this one and this one then you can bring the shininess amount up and make the hair quite shiny and metallic looking also quite soft and you get all these colors going through it because of the amount of options you have here. Um, so you got four colors, two for the root, two for the main tone, uh, color for the root, and one for the tip. Okay, so I can change the tip color to something a bit lighter, and the amount that that shows through. So I've just brought it to the bottom there. And you see it's got an effect of the overall colours here. Let me just bring the extra root coverage down a bit. Got some nice peachy hair. Um decent light. Ah, okay. Um just thinking what else I can show you here. Colour inheritance, spec level. You can change the spec level to get like a real light specularity from the scene. And you can change this in isotropic bend to bring it round. Normal matte power, bring that up. Now that does look really shiny, so I'm just going to bring that down. And bring the color inheritance up a bit. Okay, let's say I want some blue here. So I've gone for blue for the root, and I can add extra. Uh, and you can see it can. It tones up the the whole thing. And this will be our main colour here. So 
So if you want more uh, tones to be seen, you can change the Frizz Booster or the power here, change these, bring them so that you can see more of the strands. And you've also got your tiling here. You might want it to be more frizzy like this. You've got a kind of negative look here. Let's bring this back round to see what we get. Anything different? You get this kind of look. You bring the normal map down. You get all kinds of different looks with it. Boost the frizz. And change this colour. Let's go for a dark tone. Let's make some dark brown here. Okay, uh, let's bring the anisotropic back round. Let's turn the spec level down. Shininess. Let's change the scatter the level. Um, Actually, you can get some nice brown here. And if you don't like it so shiny, just bring the shininess down. And let's bring this also to a nice brown colour. Okay, so I'm going to move the light around now, so you can see how that looks with a, you know, a local light, and it also casts shadows onto itself. If you see that, you can see it a lot bit better there. So you've got the shadows in this area. You can bring the scatter up and modifiers. Oh, that's shiny this uh, scatter level and modifier and have them working together for a different look. Let's try some blonde here. That's already pretty close, although the extra root coverage is a little high. Some blonde here, let's make it shinier. So you've got some blonde here, and if it's too shiny next to the, the light sources, then just reduce the shininess there, and you can also make the frizz effect shininess higher. Just the shininess again, and eventually just bring the this bit down. Okay, let's move this light around, see how that looks. If you really want to go manga style with it, just bring the shininess you know, all the way up. And you know, the spec level up a bit. You can change the anisotropic, so that you get have less of a white band in there. You might want it to be a little lower down like that. You can really see that that shimmer in there so we can change the frizz uh, aspects frizz uh, powers and stuff so you don't get them as much or more so this is a kind of softer fall off um, can bring the tones down a bit. Not like that, 
you might want the really dark roots. So go for, uh, let's see, a really dark brown root colour and then change the amount. And then you can bring that extra root coverage in if you want. Let's just bring the light back around here to see how that looks. So in this case, you might want it to be a little bit more shiny catch some of that tone. So it's almost got the wet look. Let's bring the anisotropic round a bit. And you can see that little tone there. So we can change that to be a bit more greyish. And maybe it's still too shiny. just enough to sell it and that's pretty much it so there's your uh, hair shader for all your hair solutions uh, it uses your opacity mask and an RGB mask your green should be the root the red should be variation for the strands so black and white and your blue should be the tip area uh, there is also controls that help so you've got the extra root coverage. So if you don't have uh, this kind of texture set up, the extra root coverage will help uh, drive that a little bit anyway. And I think also the tip has something like this. So you can build in some different colors for the tip here, you know, and get different kind of looks. Uh, just in case, in case of just trying different things with it. Okay, I'm gonna take this light and move it further away, whoops. Just to show you how it looks in a slightly darker situation, and then I'm going to brighten this light up. Uh, oops, too much. Let's rotate that around as well. You see, there's a whole bunch of hairs that I've created for you as a starting block. And it's just a case of changing up these settings to suit your, your character. Uh, also, I've not done the hair so well where you can see they kind of intersect. So that's something I'm still learning, you know, to avoid these kind of things. Um, this one's I've really changed the frizz uh, tiling to, so you can see it a bit better. But the darker hair, I've kept it, kept it quite straight. So you can see all the strands. So you've got loads of options with it. This is all driven through the same material master and you can go in there and make any changes. I've tried to, tried to keep it as uh, neat as possible, but it's a little, little bit tricky with Unreal Engine's spaghetti making um, things, but I've put some notes and things in what everything does and hopefully it's easy to, to get after a while. Just follow the nodes back to the root and then you understand this is the frizz control I've uh, got the root tip color control, uh, the colors that get brought through, some trickery with the normal map, uh, and, and sort of various combinations of things that help get the overall final color. You can play with this um, uh, this, this other node blend angle corrected normals, and yeah, it's just, it's just things I don't even know what they really do, but I've just been trying some things, and you can see. How that all functions uh, good luck making hair for your characters i'm sure this will look great on any any stylized and semi-realistic characters um might even look good on realistic hair i don't know but it's using unreal's hair system so if you click on the main node here you'll see that it's using surface mast hair and it's two-sided uh, everything else i've left as default and that's pretty much it. So thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoy using this hair shader. It's going to be available in Unreal Engine Marketplace very soon, I hope. If you want it earlier, I've put it on Gumroad, ArtStation and CG Trader. Just look out for hair shader for Unreal Engine. Uh, my name's Robert Ramsey. You can search my name as well and you'll find that as well. Thanks very much. Bye.